this video I'm going to be walking you through my general weight painting process. I feel like a lot of people stress about weight painting, but it's actually really simple. I'm not going to explain too many of the specifics on the tools in order to keep this video brief, and there are other channels out there that explain them better than I ever could. I'm going to be weight painting the clavicle and arm of this character. And this character has a jacket, which I'm not going to weight paint for the sake of simplicity, but the general process is exactly the same. Contrary to what most tutorials will tell you, I think that you should start your weight painting with empty groups. Automatic weights can give good results, but ultimately, I feel it takes just as long to clean up the weights as it does to do it from scratch. That, and I like the control you get from doing it manually. I flood the weights to the root bone using the gradient tool with a steep fall off. The benefits of using the gradient tool is that it affects even the non-visible vertices such as the mouth bag. From there I start with a block out. Using a weight of 1, I start blocking in every bone's general influence. I use vertex selection quite a lot in this stage, but one thing to keep in mind is that auto normalization doesn't work with vertex selection mode. A workaround for this is once you're done editing a vertex group, you go weights, normalize all. Then we have to smooth out the transition between the areas of influence. This can be the most difficult section, so to keep it simple, we lock all the other vertex groups except for the two we are transitioning between. I start with the transition between the clavicle and the root joint. Start by posing the clavicle and smoothing out the transition with the blur brush. I add a remove vertices to get a nice arc when the clavicle is raised. When I'm done with that, I lock the root influence and move on to the transition between the arm and the clavicle. Since the root influence is locked no matter what we do, we won't mess up the transition between the clavicle and the root. I smoothed out this transition and then repeated the process working my way down the hierarchy until all the transitions are smoothed. With that, the arm should be done. The process should be the same for the rest of the character and the clavicle is generally considered the hardest section of the body to weight paint. Weight painting a whole character can seem complicated, but when you take it one step at a time, only worrying about the transition between two bones becomes a lot more manageable. Anyway, that is all and thank you for watching.